So this is the second day of working out how we do this overall progress. So yesterday we got it so we could count up how many tasks were done out of how many we had. So we can see these two rows here in the table I've got. So we know now that if we click the buttons, then it will tell us how many are done and how many tasks we have in total. If you don't know how to do that, go back to yesterday. So now we need to click onto the row one in column A and we're going to first of all format this before we do anything else. It just makes it slightly easier to do this first. So we're gonna format it to show a percentage and when we're on here we're going to go to making the decimal place zero because we just want a whole percentage we don't want any decimals in there so now what we're going to do is we're going to put in a really simple equation um, formula in there so we're going to put equals and then we're going to divide the number of ones that are done so for this it's in a two by the total number that we have within all of those um, tasks that are, have text in them. So what we will now see is our overall progress changes as we um, do more of the items up to 100% and it only counts the tasks that we've done out of the whole amount of tasks, not all of the rows that we've got in there. Um, and then simply after that, I just highlight the cells um, and the rows down the bottom button and hide them like we did earlier. Thanks for taking the time to listen all about how to make our to-do list. Please do keep following for more information on how to use numbers.